Hello lovely people, welcome back to Just Shake or Steer, nice to see you again, nice to see your smiling faces, my name is George and today we're doing a lovely tiki cocktail, very old recipe created back in 1942 by Joe Silom, a bartender, very famous bar bartender working in the Shipharts Hotel in Cairo in Egypt. So he created this cocktail most likely as a hangover cocktail and I don't know how good it's work as a hangover but you can just make it and just have it as a main cocktail then see how you feel and if you have a little bit hangover make another one in the morning okay the cocktail it's called suffering bastard yeah what a name and it's a tiki cocktail so if you ever try tiki cocktails you know what it's all about, it's about all these lovely tiki mugs, all lovely tropical flavors, rum, uh, you know, uh, exotic and etc. It's, it's just going crazy. But with this cocktail, we have something uh, a little bit kind of unusual and many people still don't believe till these days that it's working really good when combine these two spirits. Now the cocktail originally it's made with a dry gin and a cognac VSOP, however, the cognac it's a little bit dry for my taste i have to admit i don't mind it i like some time to have a nice cognac in hand after a good meal but i'm a big fan of brandy and today i'm doing a little twist with a cocktail so instead of the cognac vsop i'm using a proper spanish brandy i'm using cardinal mendoza which is fantastic very nice rich in flavor and warm with a toffee and raisin like flavors because it's aged in a sherry cask so it's wonderful and i think it's gonna bring a totally different vibe to this cocktail however let's make it don't forget original recipes with a cognac vsop so if you're a fan of a cognac just go with the original recipe everything else is the same okay so i need ice and for this i need my ice scoop and i don't have it with me fantastic so we're gonna do that gonna drop some ice in the shaker and I'm gonna cool my shaker first just want it a little bit cool down and we start with the gin so both of them gin and cognac or in my case the brandy both of them is the equal part so 30 ml of the gin and 30 ml of the cognac or brandy if you decide to follow my recipe as I mentioned, the cognac is fantastic spirit and I love it, but it's a little bit dry for me. And once we're using already dry gin, I find it better to use a little bit of sweetness and warm from the brandy. So personal preference, you can change cocktails as far as you're keeping the base and the profile flavor. You're good to go with anything. So 30 ml of both, okay? Then we're going back to the, you know, back in the days, lime cordial was used a lot and i know these days people just using a like a drinking a lot in the bars like a lime and soda or lemonade and some people kind of saying uh, yeah but it's not that good like a real lime syrup or you know etc etc but however back in the days they used lime cordial and we're gonna use lime cordial 20 ml just to give that lovely sweet citrusy kick and to make it a little bit more Kind of a pinch on it, you get one line, just cut it in half. The recipe requires around 10 ml of fresh lime juice. So I'm gonna squeeze this lime, it's a very fairly small, so I will not measure it. I'm just gonna squeeze inside because it's a really small lime, and I don't think it's gonna give me more than. 10 15 ml of the juice which I require, so I'm just gonna use it as it is. However, if you wanna follow exactly, you can fresh squeeze your lime in advance and then put exactly 10 ml. Not a big deal if you put uh, another five on top of it, you won't change that much the flavor of the cocktail. There you go. Aromatic bitter. Three dashes of any aromatic bitter. In my case, I'm using Angostura aromatic bitter. You can replace it with anything which is aromatic bitter. So mixture of lovely aromatic bitters. So one, two, three dashes, that's it. 
Oh, that's getting close to the finish. It's fine, we'll refill it. It will be top up with ginger beer, so you guess it, we can't shake the ginger beer, otherwise it's gonna be absolutely disaster here. Give it a quick brief shake, okay? That's it, don't need too much. Just a very quick brief shake to mix and cool the ingredients. And you see in the beginning, I chew the shaker with shaking, so it's already cold and ready. Now, grab your favorite picky muck. I have this and uh, I do have another one which I couldn't decide which one I should use before, but because this is a nice, lovely mermaid, I didn't think uh, it's gonna fit with the name Suffering Bastard. So I got this one, which is more kind of an angry face. Now, what you have to do here? First of all, you open your ginger beer. Now you can use any ginger beer. Now this is a, again another thing which you can consider when you're doing the cocktail. I am using London Essence. Uh, the reason why it's I like them and the guys it's uh, really nice to me. Keep uh, supporting me in my adventures with cocktails on Instagram and everywhere. But it's not only that. I like their ginger beer because it's a very light and not that spicy. So it's kind of a more settled down. If you like more spicier get some Jamaican or something else, ginger beer, which it's like fever tree or anything, which have a little bit more kick of the ginger. So it's, it's up to you. I do like that because of the softness and it's more settled down as a test. Again, personal preference. So, first of all, you drop some of the ginger beer in your mug. Then you can put fresh ice or you can straight away make a dirty pour, like we say straight away with the ice from the shaker going in your mug. Now some people's gonna serve it on crushed ice, some people's gonna serve it on cubed ice. It doesn't matter because it's already breaking, it's already chilled down, it won't keep diluting too much. And then you can drop, depends on the size of the tiki mug, mine is really big, mine is around half a liter, so I need to add a few more pieces of ice just to keep that chill going and then I'm gonna top up with the rest of the ginger beer very careful uh, it's a nice touch here if you have the ginger beer cool down as well if you don't no big deal but there you go I'm all in and now tiki cocktails they're all you know garnishes with them it's like a very rich garnish on the top eatable flowers uh, pineapples oranges bananas whatever this cocktail originally when I look around and do the research, it's coming like with the pineapple cubes, with mint sprigs and uh, uh, maraschino cherries. My maraschino cherries is in the post coming. Hopefully they will come by Monday. And uh, instead of using fresh pineapple, I use pineapple from a tin. I like it because it's, it's already cut clean and it's a very, again, light and so lovely to eat. So here we go. I'm gonna cut one in half. I should have somewhere, yeah, bamboo sticks. So I'm gonna grab two of them. Just gonna drop in the glass like this. Then there's a cherries. Let's put some cocktail cherry on one side. Put another cocktail cherry on the other side with a bamboo stick. And my garden mint, look at that. It starts flowering, by the way. So I've never seen mint flowering. It looks quite pretty, like a white and purple flowers. I don't know, I'm gonna wait to see how it looks. However, it doesn't matter it's flowering, it's a fresh mint from my garden. So I'm just gonna get a lovely, like a mint sprig bouquet on the top, just to give this uh, lovely refreshing vibe from the cocktail. There you go. Just a seven, eight mint leaves, uh, as much you like it to be honest there's no any kind of accounting here a little slap let's put it in and a bamboo straw of course uh, just shake or steer bamboo straw we have to preserve the environment don't use plastics guys okay only recyclable put that mint on the side it smells fantastic and there you have it the suffering bastard Joe Asylum cocktail, fantastic. 
Oh man. Back 1942, isn't it? Yeah, 1942 it's created. That's a long time. You know what? <clears throat> you may think it's gonna be strong. Seriously, I can't feel anything at all. I don't know why. I think gin and brandy or gin and cognac with the ginger beer work absolutely fantastic. It's so refreshing. It's like you're drinking a, a lovely like a ginger beer with a citrusy and lime filling, a little bit dryness from the spirits. But because I'm using a brandy, it's bringing this sweetness from like a toffee and caramel. And from the sherry cask, it's bringing this lovely like a fortified wine flavor. So everything paired inside is just fantastic. It's like a lovely lemonade on the summer day. So I'm not surprised it's created as a hangover cocktail. Fantastic, I'm gonna enjoy that. Even I don't have hangover, but I will enjoy that. And if you enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, put the small bell on the side, like a click, so you get notified for every new video which I upload. And of course, don't forget to like or leave a comment. Uh, funny enough, the likes and comments and all these things counts a lot on YouTube. I don't know how these things work, but apparently they give more kind of a visibility to the videos. So yeah, give a little push to this channel. I will appreciate it a lot because without you, I'm just gonna keep speaking to the camera and nobody watching and I'm still doing it and we'll see for how long we're gonna do that. Considering I've been behind the bar for over 20 years, I can do for another 10 probably cocktails on YouTube. I don't know. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, thanks for sticking out till the end. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, this suffering bastard, I'm gonna go and enjoy. Bye bye. Actually, I'll leave it here just for you to watch and desire a little bit. Bye bye, try it, see ya.